friends, welcome back to another episode of Two Idiot Girls. Woo! How you doing? Good. Are you feeling cracky today? <clears throat> no, I told you my fucking stomach was hurting. Oh yeah, but I did the faux faux. You gotta let me do it again. Before I, I feel leave. better now. Okay. It felt better. I, I, it felt better after that, and mm. then it felt better when I just like drinking more water and kind of just chilling out. I just don't think I can eat hot Cheetos anymore. They've burnt a hole in there. Dude, I pay the price every time. <laughs> I thought switching to puffs would make it go away. And I was wrong. <laughs> Maybe it's because the ones I got, like the, the puffs I got recently, were in a black bag. Oh. Uh. Which they normally aren't so i don't know if maybe they just maybe they're supercharged no, they've, re- they've rebranded I oh that's true it, but... you're right that is true yeah. okay they're probably the same then i think i've just you're just old i've met i've hit the limit i've You've hit the met ceiling. your maker i can't do it anymore yeah. every time i eat hot chips now not anything spicy does that to me but for some reason those fucking radioactive chips <laughs> when i like wake up the next morning my stomach hurts you guys when those facebook videos went around of people like lighting a hot cheeto on fire and it could it would just sit still my dad he had a heyday and he was sending us that video every day god just don't eat these chips the they're way radioactive my dad is always doing that <laughs> i'm like well you think you just fell out of a coconut tree <laughs> <laughs> That's my response to That's me saying, I don't give a fuck if they light my stomach on fire. I'm going to keep eating them. Yeah. And turns out he that's was right. I, no one tell him. That's why I switched to the little baby bags. Because then if you just have one, it's like just enough. Hot Cheeto. I just don't think but I can I, have any If anymore. I have a big bag, I don't know my limit. But when I have, when they're pre-portioned. That's me with anything. That's uh, meal meal prepping. When they're meal prepped for me, then I, I have better control. Yeah, guys, meal prep your hot Cheetos. <laughs> get, get snack size ones, and it's and all about portion control. You won't eat too many, and then you won't get Believe snack. it or not, it's 80% diet. Yeah. That's, what, Billy, the, that's what the experts say. Me and Billy make that joke all the time. Like, that was in our New York vlog. <laughs> oh, yeah. Say. I'm all, you're saying that you have seven sausage patties? Shut up. Believe it or not, it's 80% diet. <laughs> Shut up. Believe it or not. Are, New York or in London? No, New York. We're in, um, the, in the lounge. We just posted a vlog. Yeah, y'all are missing out. There are vlogs on Patreon. Yeah. A lot of y'all have been telling us to do vlogs, to which I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, by that, I mean, I am too, like, I got too many things going on. I don't know how the the vlog girls do it. I really don't know how don't they know. do this shit. Like, when I was like, that's why when I did TikTok in the mix, I was like, oh, I'll just do a vlog as, like, my last. It is so hard to remember that you're supposed to be filming. Dude, I filmed, this is not a joke, I filmed four clips in the morning, not one clip for nine hours. <laughs> <laughs> four clips and then i'll see someone else filming i go oh fuck i'm supposed to be filming and then i'll start doing and it. then it's followed up with me texting everyone that was with me and i'm like does anybody have <laughs> any footage at all please send it to me <laughs> so i can build my video that i have to post yeah. for a brand deal i don't think i sent you any of my clips because i was like mm, these are for the patreon sorry <laughs> i was mm, like sorry does anybody have any clips <laughs> Me starting a shared album and I don't put anything in it. Yeah. This is for hey you guys. guys. Remember to put your stuff in the shared album. <laughs> Thanks. Is, is there anyone worse? There's no one worse than that guy. Like, I love this shared album, but like, leave me alone. I just like, if someone, first of all, that's a big reason why I'm always like, no, you can use my phone because I don't want to have to ask for yeah. the pictures. But let's just say someone else took them. I immediately get them. I'm like, hey, can I get those from you right yeah. now? It's so annoying. Immediately. Because otherwise, you're you're that guy. Hey guys, does anyone have pics? Hey guys, don't forget to add stuff to the shared album. I know um, Alex loves to make shared albums. Alex, is no, here. they're great. <laughs> but at least when she starts them, no, but then it's funny because I, I don't have a problem with shared no, albums. I'm saying I like them, but I don't remember to put stuff in there, and I'll post pictures, and she'll text me, "Why didn't you put that in the shared album?" <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. No, at least when Alex starts them, Alex is here. By the way, guys, yeah. at this point, she lives at this house. Yeah, two in addition to her own house, but. At least when she starts them, she automatically puts stuff in it. That's what I do when I start shared albums. I automatically put stuff in it. Yeah, if I start it, I'll do it. If someone else starts it and invites me, I don't remember to put anything in there. But, but I love to look in there and I love to take stuff from it. <laughs> I'm like, wow, this is such a great pick of me. This is so helpful. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Me taking and never giving. Never giving. giving. Mm-mm. Yeah. Anyways, how are you feeling? Good. I'm tired. I started my period yesterday. Woohoo. Have a lot of cycle siblings. A lot of people were messaging me yesterday on Instagram. Oh really? We're synced. Yeah. Mine's I had mine a couple weeks ago. So I'm good. I'm like on day two, which I feel like 
day one, two, and three are the worst. Yeah. And then four, it's done. And then I'm good. And four, I tell myself, I'm done. I just told you that. Like, you know, when you just tell your, your uterus, you're like, that's enough of that. Yeah. I'm not putting one hey, more tampon in. Hey, knock it off. Yeah. I was just like, I'm, guess what? I'm ruining my every pair of underwear. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm not putting one more goddamn I don't give a fuck. But I was telling her, just as easy as I can tell my body that's enough bleeding, I wish I could tell my body, let's start this now. Let, yeah, let's same. get it over with. Same. Nothing's worse than the the build up to it. Yeah. And then for some reason, my periods used to be at the beginning of the month. Now they're in the middle and I hate that. I'd rather be at the very beginning. Get it over with. Yeah. As soon as it's the first, I want to be done by the fifth. <laughs> I don't want, I don't want to be dealing with that. My period like without fail always comes when i'm on vacation or traveling that is not a joke every single time i get on a plane to go somewhere else i get my period like it, a beach vacation period the snow in london period. period south carolina period like oh yeah everywhere everywhere london yeah i had it in london and you know what's fucked up in london i had it early like it came early yeah because i was stressed um and that happens to me uh, so it came early and I had it all the way until South Carolina because then that's when I had my actual period. Mm. So it's like, you have that like breakthrough shit, the pregame. Yeah. The, I, the actual yeah, party. Y'all, y'all pregame your periods <laughs> chat. Comment down below. If you pregame your periods. chat, put blood emojis in the <laughs> chat below, please chat. Comment down below. If you tell your uterus to stop, uh, that's why I'm like, I literally, I'll bleed through every underwear. Yeah. I have. I don't like I that. said my piece, whether or not she wants to listen, that's not, that's not my fault. Looks like we're both sitting in this mess together. Then, yeah. Girl. Don't know what to tell you. Cause then when you wear, when you, when you have tampons, like when you're at the end, there's nothing on them. I know. And then it, I'm, I am pulling a plunger out of there. Girl, a dry like, tampon. Duh. Yeah. Might as well shove a toilet brush up there. Dude, it hurts. It does. It chafes. It hurts. It feels like I have a wedgie, but inside my yeah. vagina. What's going on in there? I don't like it. I don't need that. I don't need, like, it's just so, and then you're walking and it feels like you have a pool noodle between your legs. <laughs> but it's completely You don't need to put it between your legs and you jump in the pool. Yeah. But when you're walking with it, that's how it feels. Yeah. It's horrible. You feel ridiculous. Yeah, it's it's humiliating. <laughs> Every time humiliating. You, when you change in, you're everyone like, knows my tampons dry. That's how it feels. <laughs> everyone in this, nobody in this room can tell that my tampon is dry, <laughs> and it's hurting me. Why is she walking like that? The mute. <laughs> <laughs> nobody knows in this room that my tampon hurts, and I'm being so <laughs> brave about it. <laughs> nobody knows, and I'm being so brave being about so, it. My tummy hurts, and I'm being so brave about it. No. My tampon hurts and I'm being so brave about it. That's what the meme should say. <laughs> I'm being really chill about you guys, it. Because I tried period underwear. I just can't do it. I tried really hard to make it a thing. Uh, here's what I will say. If you do the thing we do where we're like, I'm done. Take it or leave it, bitch. <laughs> I'm done. To myself. Yeah. And I'm still bleeding. Uh, when I have period underwear then, mm -hmm. that's fine. That works great. Because yeah. then it's like it's not that much. It's so. just it's just enough for it to catch it. Yeah, yeah, but like for day one and two, if you wear those period underwear, you're stronger than me because I f genuinely feel like I'm holding like I don't even fucking know like the Declaration of Independence <laughs> in between my legs. I have like a soaking wet beach towel between my <laughs> legs. <laughs> like it feels like I literally messed myself. Like I I'm literally a baby. I bled one time through the underwear and I was like, can't wear them anymore too much and through the period under yeah there? and they were like heavy Damn. duty heavy duty yeah well, that's what i'm saying i got a heavy flow that's what i said <laughs> days one and two you're yeah. crazy i was once i bled through it i was all you know what i gotta go back those to must be, those must be people who have like period lights <laughs> you know it's like <laughs> michelob ultra light. i have michelob ultras yeah and you guys have michelob ultra lights <laughs> yeah, that's, that's why like modello light yeah modello doesn't have a light <laughs> this is Michael of Ultra. Corona light. light. They have a light. Corona beer. light. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like I have Corona. I have Modelo Negro, and you guys have Corona <laughs> lights. <laughs> like, I was gonna say no. It's like you guys have like a you guys have like seltzer uteruses, and mine's yeah. like a the thickest like mine's a quarter. coffee beer. Yeah. <laughs> IPA type. Yeah. Shit. Mine's yeah. A, mine's an Irish brewed Port. IPA. It's a, yeah. It's, <laughs> mine's a lager. <laughs> It's not a it's not a light fruity summer beer. You guys got vodka crayons yeah. and I got a fucking Irish lager <laughs> between my legs, bitch. I have Baileys between <laughs> my legs, dude. It's horrifying down there. Uh, I have fucking Kraken. You ever That's had what that? Because we, we love uh the Tampax Ultra. Is that what they're called? Mm. You don't do you still use those? I use those. Tampax? No, the Ultras. 
Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Because every time I ask you for a tampon, you give me a super, and I don't know what I'm supposed to. Because that's all I have. Uh, because I burned through the ultras. Do date because I have. When you date a fucking people, logger. When you date people with uteruses, like in lesbian relationship, like you run through tampons like crazy. It's insane. Yeah, I know. Though you gotta set the aside power of two for one. Part of your budget, twenty five percent of it has to be allocated to Just tampons. To tampons. Yeah. Just like any sort of feminine. Oh, well, we call product. the the Tampax ultras. Those are called Michelob ultras. <laughs> yeah, we have Michelob ultras, and you guys have. Super light, dainty, dainty snow white deer skinny. in the woods. Two drops of blood light. That's what you guys have. <laughs> and mine looks like a massacre. Mine's a fucking oil spill. <laughs> it's horrible. It's horrifying. Oh my God. We were talking about that with Brittany, huh? Yeah. We were talking about uh, Victoria's Secret underwear. How <laughs> it's like. I was saying the you cheapest can get, underwear. You can get five pairs of the thinnest panties you've ever <laughs> seen for real in your life for only now. I think it's like thirty bucks, and yeah. I told her, and that's why I said if I get my period in those, I have to throw them away. I can't save them. <laughs> There's no point. The way they discolor almost immediately. Yeah, I have so many other pairs of underwear that don't do that. Mine, all mine do that. No, like it does it, but a little. Yeah, I'm yeah, saying yeah. like it literally will. It's like like I get it where it's like where my crotch goes, but why yeah. is it like that in my butt crack? That but doesn't it, make like, sense. It melts. Why is it? Why is it discolored on the back part? No, it's literally <laughs> it melts it. Yeah, that's why we were joking that it disintegrates the underwear. Like your chonies are in two pieces. They're like edible chonies almost. Like <laughs> they're just disintegrating between my legs. They're crotchless panties. <laughs> Maybe that's the point of them. And it's like I'm emitting an acid out of yeah. there. Like it's the most it, toxic like, like sludge. A, like a phosphorus gas or something. Yeah. yeah. That's why I said like I don't have Victoria's Secret underwear anymore for mm -hmm. obvious reasons. But like I literally told <laughs> Dason and Brittany, I was like, when I'd get my period in those, it looked like those ducklings that you save after an oil spill. The BP oil spill, yeah. Girl, they're just like, they disintegrate. That's why I said they make Dawn dish soap ads out of my <laughs> underwear. <laughs> Here's how to save your underwear using Dawn dish soap. Yeah, like, you just can just wash it all cute in the, sh in the washer, and I have, <laughs> I have to put fucking, I have to bleach and tone my fucking underwear. <laughs> I'm asking for a bleach and tone. I have to bleach and tone I my to panties. <laughs> Bleach into my panties, and then I have to use that spin brush that they use on TikTok Live all the time <laughs> to clean your toilet. Remember the one that they used to have in YouTube videos all the time? What was that one called? Oh, the Vandy Planet. <laughs> <laughs> my first big paycheck, I bought one of those. Dude, if you ever want to use it, it it's if you've ever wanted to use something that strips all layers of your skin, you can use my code Dason twenty for twenty percent <laughs> off your Vandy you go Planet. Like, and then you pull it back in it's just bone like it's yeah. like, you, can you see, see my teeth yeah you look like the cab driver in halloween town <laughs> we have any, yeah no literally that's what you wash like, are made you, out of you look like you best start believing in ghost stories you're in one when you walk into the moonlight me, dead men tell no tales head ass me <laughs> after using the vanity plans <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to remember whose code I use. I look like Captain Barbosa. I was in a Harvey Two Face type shit. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> when he's in the hospital and he goes, yeah. like that. <laughs> that was me after using <sighs> the Vanny Planet spin brush. <laughs> and then they're like, use this one. It's a literal pumice stone. Where does it go? <laughs> a pumice stone. Yeah. Why the Get fuck? Your, I've been giving you pumice stone. I'm stones. not joking. There's a pumice stone on it. For your face. Yeah. Get all your blackheads out with that. Well, yeah. <laughs> If I use a fucking four grit sandpaper, you'd do the same shit. What you know, I heck? can also just put a blowtorch on my face. Yeah. I'm sure that would get rid my of it. My skin's all raw and <laughs> red. It's just muscle. <laughs> Tissue. <laughs> it's all your fucking, like, it's your awful. veins. Yeah. Holy shit. I look like that anatomy book where you flip each page to <laughs> the parts of the body. <laughs> Different layers. Yeah, it's just translucent. Holy shit. That's so funny. I yeah. probably use, like, I'm trying to think of whose code also, I used. It had to have been Emma Chamberlain or, like, Summer McKean also, or something. Also, that Vanity Planet, bro, that shit spins at 30 miles an hour. I know. That's what I'm, it feels like, like, with, with <laughs> Zambo, the, the Zambonis use those when they're cleaning the eyes. <laughs> like yeah, those little hands. A hand fucking ones. jackhammer, dude. Yeah. You had to polish the ground to polish the high school gymnasium. <laughs> Yeah. They use the same bristles on the Vandy Planet <laughs> spin brush. Like when it's there should spinning. be a class action lawsuit against when the Vandy Planet spin brush. When it's fucking spinning like that and you can't see it because it's going so if fast, I, if it's I invisible. To, if I have to two hand grip the brush like, because one hand is just going wild. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> it's like you're shooting a gun. Yeah. Your whole body is I'm using vibrating. that and St. Ives uh, 
fucking scrub on my face at the same time <laughs> it's like the 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 sheer force of it shaking is like those shitty little massage chairs in the mall yeah when you sit and it's, it's like the same motor the That's ones why. in the nail salon that like <laughs> it feels like you're being kicked in the back dude one time we got our nails done we, or we got pedicures <laughs> at this salon we were there for three hours right horrifying and i remember my mom she said her back hurt because my mom <laughs> loves to leave the, the massage chair on i hate it so i turn it off I like it sometimes, but it's so rough. But that one felt like there were human arms in it. Because it was like, you know, usually it's just like kind of moving your body. Like My mom's was like this. <laughs> like, yeah. back, well, no wonder your fucking neck hurts. You're getting beat up for three hours. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's like punched in the back a million times. Yeah. Anyways, sometimes I wish I had a massage chair in my house that wasn't awful. I just gave you a massage on your stomach because it hurt. It did the fofo. And then the, the, the babies give you massages all the time. Yeah, them standing on my like literally tuna will stand on my fucking sternum. Yeah. Just to look. Like there's no reason he <laughs> needs to do it's like I literally told my mom, like, he stands on people like fucking billy goats, like you know those pictures of them standing on the side of a mountain? Like yeah. he could probably do that. Probably. But then he'd fall because he wouldn't be able to hear that he's coming <laughs> to the edge of a cliff or something, you know? I don't even know, to be honest. Those two yeah, Tuna came in here and pissed on the carpet, so he was sniffing for a long time. I let him come in here because I never let them come in here. And it, those are the biggest mistakes. And that's why. And that right there is why. He just sounds like he's like. <laughs> I know. I told, I told Billy that when he's sleeping, his snoring is so like. <laughs> it's a <laughs> cartoon ass sleep. No, he literally. He has a little nightcap on. It sounds like this. <laughs> like a fucking hum. Mm -hmm. um, and. I told Billy he sounds like a dragon sleeping under a castle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like you'd walk by and you'd hear chains clinking because he has it on his neck. <laughs> <laughs> like the one in Shrek. Yeah, there's like smoke coming around. Yeah, here. and he's like. <gasps> That's what it sounds like. Yeah. So You have to tiptoe past him. <laughs> yeah. Then you do and then you go, wait, he can't hear me. You have to tiptoe like. <laughs> like that. <laughs> like Johnny Stupid. Bravo. <laughs> I hated that show. Me too. He was also a predator. Oh. That's okay if we say it. He was. Let's talk about it. He never took no for an answer. First time being cool for real. Derogatory. First time being cool for real. No, it... Yeah, it was giving Predator, honestly. Maybe that's why I hated that show. Because he was always hitting on everyone? I don't remember. Yeah, he was like a ladies' man. That was like kind of his thing. The only Doesn't Johnny Bravo feel fake when we're talking about it? Yeah. When we're talking about it right now, it feels like a fake... Like that wasn't a real show. No, like I made it up. Yeah. That's so weird. I Now that I think about it, I don't really know if I know what it's about. I know that he's a ladies' man. I know that's like part of his appeal, the spiel, yeah, yeah. with him. But okay. I didn't like many shows on Cartoon Network, <laughs> and he would always say things like "Hey, little mama," like he would talk like yeah. Elvis almost. Mm -hmm. well, Austin Butler. Elvis was the first. Yeah, sorry, Austin Butler, Austin Butler was the first as person. Elvis. Yeah, as did you Johnny see Bravo. JoJo? She was saying that Elvis was the. F she's crediting for her gay pop music revival. That uh, Elvis was the first person to ever not care what anyone thought about him. She said that. I swear in my life. Like she verbatim said that. Yeah. Was that in her fuck ass interview? Yeah, and she said, "I'm gonna do something that no one's ever done before." Yeah, uh, it was in that interview, in the same interview, and she said the first person to not care uh -huh. was Elvis. Uh huh. But you're making gay pop music, which has been around for a hundred years. What was her reasoning behind citing Elvis? Because I mean, that's the last movie she I saw. I think because boy, boy wears makeup. That's gay. Doesn't care. There were many men who wore makeup before Elvis. <laughs> like there were... i don't i don't work for judge Siwa, so i actually don't know but i'll ask her later the next time i <laughs> okay, see okay yeah go ahead and update me okay. um that's insane that's an insane thing to say <laughs> that's Elvis? insane that's an insane a, a white man who stole music from black artists yeah. yeah i would i would say i would argue that he didn't care about what a very specific group of people thought because he was riding their back for views well, that's true um i would i would i would argue yeah writing he, imagine saying <laughs> that you're riding my back for views in whatever year he was born yeah. <laughs> me at elvis you're just riding my dick for views um you yelling at austin butler for that and i will one day god i want to talk to austin, austin butler so bad i miss him i wish he was here miss him austin come in miss you girl uh, miss you girl miss you uh i want to talk to him so bad what do you think he's doing right now being annoying. Do you think he smokes cigarettes? <laughs> He's terrorizing someone, I'm sure. <laughs> I just know it. <laughs> Me, I just like it's like him and Glenn Powell. I just gotta I gotta find a way to bring them up every episode so I can make fun of them. Yeah, well, someone um, just commented that they've never done anything. You're being me. mean to Glenn Powell is part of um Yeah. New ACU bit alert hating Glenn Powell with our entire chest. Listen. 
I don't hate him. I just do what everyone's too too scared to do. <laughs> I'm being brave. You're for the all first of us. person I ever do that. Congratulations. <laughs> I don't even know anything. I don't know nearly enough about Glenn Powell or Austin Butler to really warrant mm-hmm. me making jokes. But I think if you make it, if you throw me a layup, I'm going to have to dunk it. You know what I, I mean? I can see that. Yeah. Yeah. I want to talk to him so bad. I want to talk to him, but only about being from Anaheim. Yeah. That's all I want to talk to him about. What do you think of the packing district? You moved away before they finished it. What do you think of it? So the accent. <laughs> what part of Anaheim did you get that from? Yeah. Just curious. Just curious. Does your phone number start with a 949? Just curious. The girlies are saying that that was not right, but if you believe it, I believe it too. <laughs> what? That the area code's 949 for Anaheim. It is. It's not. Remember I looked it up? I think it's 714. It's also 714, but 949 is also Anaheim. The Anaheim area code is 714. It's also 949. Okay. Don't lie to me. It also says 647. That's 657. Not true. That's absolutely That's not true. That's a lie. Absolutely not true. What else is going on with me? Hmm. Oh, watch the... So, oh, as you guys know, whenever Alex is here, I'm held at gunpoint to watch new things. <laughs> but lately, I've been watching new things on my own, so it was very easy. But we watched the movie Not Okay, which you've already seen. Yeah, it was Zoe Deutsch. Was, yeah. Zoe yeah, I was like, Dutch? what's her last name? Douche? Deutsch? Deutsch? I don't know how to say it, but that girl, yeah. Yeah. Dylan O'Brien's in it. Speaking of... of- Dylan O'Brien with a buzz bleach dye job into it <laughs> i'm into it <laughs> zoe in that movie um well i was telling alex every time i see her in a movie i feel like she looks like a different person but i feel like that's because she blends so well in her character but i always think she's a different person i used sense? to mix up her and Haley lou who i think is her name from white lotus season two she played portia i mix them up all the time I'm inclined to believe you. I have no idea who that is. <laughs> I like her a lot. She makes me laugh. I like Haley. But... Oh, nice. Well, she was really, Zoe was really good in that movie. You know who Zoe, Zoe is too. dating? I don't know if they're together anymore. Uh, Jimmy Tatro. Interesting. Yeah. From U- YouTube Ledge. Yeah. Yeah. Well. The bros of Simi Valley. Yeah. Shit, yeah. And he was, in, I remember he was in Grown Ups. That was the first time I saw him. And yeah, I was like, Grown Ups Oh my God, too. that guy's on YouTube. He's also in Theater Camp. If you guys haven't watched that movie, that movie is so funny with Ben Platt. And, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah we did try to watch zone of interest we started didn't finish it because we all fell asleep because you guys don't understand art so clearly sometimes guys can i be vulnerable with you for a second sometimes i watch oscar contending movies Mm -hmm. and i think to myself am i the stupidest person alive or is this movie boring sure i think that all the time like remember when the artist like swept hate it maybe we need, <laughs> like, maybe, I haven't we even need seen a, it. maybe we need to watch it as an adult i can tell you right now i'm not gonna like it like that's what i'm saying maybe i'm just an ipad What's baby the, you know people like re- like especially white people they really jizz over uh space movies like they yeah there's just something and movies about, about war yeah but movies in outer space super they just like go nuts for yeah what's the one that anne hathaway's in it's not a rival is it interstellar yeah Anne Hathaway is an interstellar. Okay, I didn't make that up. Oh, okay. I, I fell asleep halfway Wait, through. Wait, so it was interstellar? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what I was saying. I, Wait, it, was Sandra Bullock in a space movie? Is it Arrival? No, Arrival is, it looks like Jeremy Renner. No, I don't and, know. And uh, Amy one. Adams. What's the space movie with Sandra Bullock? If there is one. Oh, Gravity. Gravity. That's, a good That's one what too. I was talking about. Okay. Oh, but so I, I was, okay, I'm so glad because I got really embarrassed for a second. Because <laughs> <laughs> I think Interstellar and Gravity both did really well their respective years when they went, like throughout award season. I know that I know that Interstellar did because it's a Christopher Nolan movie. So yeah. I know, yeah. No, not okay. So Interstellar is with Matthew McConaughey. Yes. Okay, that one is good. I did watch that one. Interstellar, I watched with my parents in Donovan. That's where that video of Donovan eating sour candy is from. <laughs> yeah. And I fell asleep, and then I woke up, and then I guessed the ending, and then Donovan was like, "How did you know that? You didn't even watch half the movie." Because yeah. I'm a film major, so. <laughs> A cinephile, if I you I watch will. films, if you will. Um, No, Gravity I had to watch for Jessica co- Chastain. She's yeah. an interstellar. Yeah. That's a good movie. <laughs> and like all Anne Hathaway. And, white women and white men. And Timothee's in this one. Which one? Interstellar. Oh, is he one of the kids? I don't know. Probably. I have to rewatch it. I don't remember. Speaking of him, you see how people are, are saying like his jawline's gone? Yeah, because he stopped mewing. <laughs> <laughs> he stopped sticking his tongue to the roof of his mouth. Yeah. Well... R.I.P. I guess. Uh, remember when people tried to make me dress as him to go to Heidi Klum's party? That's a bummer. If you get invited next year, you should still do it. 
<laughs> Every year I get invited, I dress like him again. Yeah. Then they stop inviting me because they're tired of seeing me wear the same outfit. <laughs> Every year it gets a little too realistic. Every year they're just like, again with the shit. Can you just... <sighs> yeah, walk the carpet. It's fine. Well, anyways, back to my take on movies. Like, sometimes I just think I'm the dumbest bitch alive. That's how I feel when I look at art, too. Yeah. I feel, like, with art, I feel like that, yeah. It's like my brain is so pee pee poo poo time that mm-hmm. like it just refuses to absorb any sort of high art like i just I don't feel that. i just don't have it remember when they said what do you think is a man-made like one of the questions we got was like what do you think is like a man-made industry or or culture or thing that we've created that is like so the beach? stupid no the beach is man-made it's not not all beaches are man-made i know i'm saying but some beaches are I'm not talking literally man-made. I'm talking about, like, systems that we've created. Remember when... I know. Was, I understand what you're question saying. We got. I'm just comparing it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but... Okay. Uh, <laughs> what I was going to say was... What I said in that was, was fine dining. I'm like, I yes. think fine dining is so fucking stupid. Like, I think it's stupid not that people love it, but, like, that we created something like that. Oh, my gosh. When's last More time so you- because it's elitist. But When's last time up. you watched Always Be My Maybe? That movie is so funny. I've never seen it. You haven't? No, I've watched a trailer. But um, Oh, there's a scene where they go to a restaurant, and it's really funny. So oh, it's yeah. like that. It's just like I just like i feel like i feel like such a like food mouth like that's how i see food like i don't need the dog and pony show i'm vibrating in place like squid i don't give a fuck what girl put my slop in a trough and i'll fucking eat it like i don't care i don't need 72 forks to eat my bullshit (laughs) you know what i'm saying (laughs) give me some guys new hyperfixation snack unlocked who wants to hear it i like to eat now those little Tillamook cheddar cheeses. But they're not, you guys, they're not like the little ones that the are squares. like little rectangles. I had, I had those ones too, though. No, I know. But they're not those. They're like long cheese sticks. Yeah, they're and like. they're good. Yeah. So you like, you hold them like this. Is it like a, it's like a mild cheddar, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then I have kettle chips. Those brands, jalapeno ones. The green but the ones. jalapeno yeah. flavor. Eat them together. New hyperfixation. Unlocked. <laughs> I even got decent on them. I, eat, I only eat them when I come to your house. I don't eat them Yeah, house. but when she tried it, Billy goes, is it actually good or is Drew just a fucking weirdo? Because I eat weird combinations like that. I like to make charcuterie boards out of anything. Anything's a charcuterie board if you really put your mind to it. <laughs> if you really open up your mind to if it. If you separate textures and eat them together or at the same time, at different times, it's a charcuterie They're board. Good. It was good. At the end of the day. I'd say it's a 10 out of 10 combo. You know what's funny is um, one time Billy's uh, dad was like, I forget what we were talking about, but he was like, um, oh, I, I made your, like he, he had made something for me, but he was like, I made yours like, um, a smaller portion. And he goes, cause I know you're probably going to snack. And he's like, you're such a little snacker, which I was like, that seems rude, <laughs> <laughs> but we laughed about it. But it's because like, I like to eat bites. I don't like to eat, like I'll eat a meal, but like a lot of times if I'm at home, I'll just, I'm just snacking. Well, like when we go to the restaurant, my favorite part of the meal is the appetizer. Like, I yeah. love appetizers. I love a good app. Right? Damn. You ever been on a date with someone who doesn't like to order appetizers? It's awful. Bread no. flag. Immediately. <laughs> oh, we know you haven't. Immediate red flag to me. If you don't order an app for the table. Yeah. Or don't even ask. Yeah. Like, you're not like, hey, does anyone want to have an app or whatever? When they ask you guys want to order any appetizers, your first answer is no. I'm leaving. That's going, how I feel when I'm going to the bathroom. I'm going to call Drew with tears in my eyes and then I'm going to go home. <laughs> That's how I feel when you're eating in a group and I'm the only one who gets soda. <laughs> I'm like, why are you doing that? Dude, the first time we got dinner with Caleb um, and Brittany, mm. everyone had a soda and I was like, oh, I don't want one. I just want water. And, and Caleb was like, you think you're better than everyone? <laughs> yeah. Get a fucking soda. Yeah. I was like, and then I Yeah. Did. And that's my kind of crew. <laughs> When everyone has soda and the weird one is the one who doesn't. And then I got one and when I finished one, he goes, oh, they didn't want a soda though, huh? <laughs> Fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that too. I'm like, ever I, and that's why it's no matter where you are in the order line, it's humiliating if you get your, if you're the only one who gets a soda. So like if you go first and they're like, what do you want to drink? You're like, oh, I'll have a soda. And everyone else goes, oh, water's good for me. Mm-hmm. Then I'm like, what a dick move. I went first. I was brave. 
I was I, vulnerable. I walked out on that limb and nobody followed me. And then if you go last and you're like, I'll take a soda. And they're like, okay, so all waters in one soda. Oh, dude. Why? Nothing more humiliating. Why do you do that? That's like, happened to you so many hey, times, Hey, you bro. don't have to repeat the order to me. Like, you're the one who has to remember it, not me. But that's what's nice when we travel anywhere with Adam because he will always get a soda. That's my like fucking you. girl. Yeah. That's why I only hire people who have sodas at dinner. <laughs> Oh, that's great. I just read about all your experience. Um, what do you order for to drink when we're at a restaurant? One last question for you. Um, let's say we're at a restaurant and the waitress goes, Hey, what do you what do you well, want would to you drink? like to drink? What's your first what's your knee jerk response? And if they go, just water for me, we'll have we'll call you. <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll make a decision in a couple of days. We'll I'll have my people reach out when it's time. <laughs> Thanks for your time. Log off the Zoom. <laughs> fucking idiot you'll never work a day in this town <laughs> that's how you make it big you have to drink soda at every meal dude we went to two Brittany's a soda bitch too we went to two lunches back to back for work meetings for drew yep and I, the first one she had a soda of course of and course then before we left that one to go to the next one she looked at me she goes and if you think i'm not getting another soda you're wrong yeah everyone's like maybe i'll try this mocktail maybe and then I'll we try went this. i was like you guys, i'm getting a soda speaking of how fine dining is stupid how come oh how my come, god i already know what you're gonna say how i already come know what you're they're say. doing this thing so jam does this too love you jam but why do they do this where you go can i have a soda or can i get a diet coke they go we don't have that we have healthy sodas we actually have different <laughs> kinds of sodas that taste almost identical hey wrong they don't you know what's funny is you're lying to they me don't. you know what soda you should have back there that's healthy and does taste like soda is poppies if you're gonna don't fucking give me a sprite but it, you i watched you make it behind the bar you can have whatever you want outside of the standard sodas i don't give a fuck what you add to the menu just put regular shit on there <laughs> like i when they're like oh we actually don't carry those we actually get it's also the uppity tube they give to because yeah. you're like oh can i have a diet coke and they go We're actually not disgusting and gross and we weird. actually really you know <laughs> have a ethical issue with aspartame so but what we do have is a fruity tooty <laughs> bubble bubbly pink princess drink how would you like that it tastes just like sprite and it doesn't and it doesn't it doesn't at all it, it tastes like a ginger soda and not a good one not it ginger just, ale it just tastes like soda water and you guys like put the vibes of a of a sprite mm -hmm. in there like you were just like tastes like a sprite tastes like a sprite tastes like a sprite <laughs> <laughs> and he brought you it put to a me. lime in a soda water and you tell me that's a sprite i'll kill you oh my phil <laughs> <laughs> that's a silly ass joke that none of you are gonna get but <laughs> Our manager, Phil, every time we go eat, he always he, gets soda water. No one but chugs soda water as much as him. Like, it's not always even me. Always soda water. Always soda water. <laughs> so I said, oh my, Phil. Sometimes he spices it up and he gets a little lime in there. Yeah. yeah. It's always soda water. I'm not kidding. Every time. It's always soda water. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> he has something against real water, I guess. I don't really know. <laughs> but yeah, they do that. Or worse, we went to a restaurant and they didn't have any soda. God. For Drew. You know, I was like, you I'm not disgusting. So I, I was didn't like, care. it's all right. My car's coming around right now. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Close on my tab. You didn't order anything. <laughs> well, close it. Can I just get the check? They haven't even taken my order. <laughs> I'm just angry. I'll just get the, it's fine. <laughs> it's okay. I brought my own. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that actually. <laughs> you know, like everyone like those soda stream things. Yeah. They don't work. Really? No. It tastes like that. <laughs> There's Diet Coke flavoring. I'm all, mm, Diet Coke water. <laughs> It doesn't taste the same. Dude, you know how, like, um, I don't know if you've ever seen this. Like, I follow these, like, two girls that do fitness stuff. I don't follow a lot of fitness people outside of Pilly. <laughs> but, like, there was this thing going around in that in that side of the internet where uh, when they would go out, they would get, like, vodka sodas. And then they would bring Mio's. Yes. And they would, yeah, pour it in there. Give me one of those, but it makes it a Diet Coke. <laughs> and I don't want... A, a like essence of a di I wanted to taste like I cracked open a yeah. DC. Yeah, like instead of turning water or, or yeah into wine, make water into diet coke. Yeah, like Let's give me a mio that does that, and I don't need all the fucking tools to make it. <laughs> like I just put two drops. That's in why there. I feel like using this soda stream. I'm like, what am I gonna churn my own butter next? I'm not fucking doing that. I'm gonna buy yeah. diet coke from the store. All of it's fun in theory, but then when it comes down to me having to do anything past drinking it, it out of the fridge yeah like even when my soda isn't in my fridge and i have to make a cup of ice like that's taxing to me <laughs> can you imagine me when i'm curating my own bubbles yeah i'm not doing that love you though do you like diet coke more than diet dr pepper 
No. You like Dr. Pepper more? Yeah, but I'm going through a real DC phase right now. I think that's, uh, but I think that's only because they almost always, they always have Diet Coke, but they never have Diet Coke. Well, when we went so. to Caleb's party and you said, oh, can I get a DC, right? I didn't say that. Brittany did. Oh, Brittany did. And, then you said, and I said, too. make it too. Yeah. Yeah. And Billy said, what are they, what is that? I'm all, what? And he goes, what's a DC? I'm all, oh, it's a Diet Coke. You fucking nerd. You don't know that's, that. That's literally, Brittany goes, I'll take a DC if you're offering. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> and then I said, make it too. Make it a double. Yeah. Oh my gosh, okay, so we're doing a part two to things your exes did and then you stayed. What did yeah, you think y'all, of last week's episode? First of all, pour one out for them. Um, some of them were pretty awful. But I think y'all really, really loved that topic. Mm-hmm. Because I feel like y'all find sense of community. Yeah. And um, <laughs> just intentionally looking the other way when horrible things happen so we've all done it we've all done it that's okay it's all right like someone commented on our video yesterday uh they wrote my ex barely brushed his teeth and when we would kiss stuff would come off in my mouth the first time that happens i'm going stuff i'm spitting it out and i'm getting up and i'm leaving stuff what would you do if you were kissing someone and a tonsil stone from their mouth went into your mouth i'd do this (laughs) ew what the fuck what was that (laughs) no it tastes like shit no like what the fuck no you know what like it's fine you know what like i just think you you need to get out go you need to go like i just like i don't feel good anymore and like i'd be like this or it would be like this (laughs) what was that (laughs) and i'm just i'm just like screaming i just know that that's happened to someone I feel and then it you in my hear, bones. and then all you hear is my feet like running to the bathroom, and I'm going <laughs> and brushing my teeth. <laughs> it's so, it's still there. I can still taste it, and you don't have any fucking toothpaste in here. And I'm like, ew! In the bathroom, <laughs> you just hear me outside the door. No, away. you know what? You hear me? No, this is what I do. I I do all that and then I go in the bathroom and I slam the door yeah. and then you'd hear me and I'd be like, no, like it's it like came got in my fucking mouth. It's fucking gross. No, yeah, I'm going fucking home, dude. It's fucking disgusting. <laughs> I'll make something up. It's fine. And then I come out and then I go, hey, my friend called me. She really so, needs me. Really bad news. I just Sorry. got an emergency call. I have to leave suddenly. My mom told me I have to come home right now. Or I come out and I'm just like, I gotta go. Why? Well, because I'm fucking disgusted now. Is that what you want me to say? <laughs> okay. That's fucking horrible. What are, gonna, what are you gonna do? Okay. Are you ready to get into these? Yeah. Okay. This first one's from Karina. She said, my parents took me and my ex to a really fancy dinner for Christmas. I drove and we all ordered food. Okay. He then was texting me yelling that he needed my keys to leave and go home to play Call of Duty with his friend because his friend had cancer. His friend didn't have cancer. He was just balding. And when I got back, he asked if I brought him the food. (laughs) You didn't pack up my filet mignon to go? You just left it at at the restaurant? The way if I saw the... I'd just be ignoring this. I, I, you know what I would do? I, I have my phone and I'd read that text and I'd go. <laughs> Anyways, what were we saying? I'm ignoring you. Yeah, it goes. Like bring it up in front of my parents. Bring it up. I dare you. Why are you texting me? Just I don't know why you're texting me. Just bring it up. Right. What are you texting me about? <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Making the dinner awkward. Why are you texting me? Just say it all out. He says I have to get home and play Call of Duty. My friend has cancer. What? Well, those two things don't belong in a sentence together. Let's open that up. What are you talking about? <laughs> your friend has cancer and that means you immediately have to go home and play call- how do those two things correlate i guess is he like is there like a bomb strapped to his chest if i don't get home in 10 minutes who knows what will happen <laughs> what the fuck you could die at any second then you get home and you're all you didn't even bring me my fucking leftovers <laughs> dude <laughs> you know what if i had the leftovers i'd be like no i have them right here and i'd open them up and then i'd try i throw them hard as fuck at the wall Ah. <laughs> uh! there's your fucking leftovers that's crazy and my parents are involved yeah no fuck that dude honestly if it came to my family and you did some disrespectful shit like that i'll light you up in front of my family i'll yeah. bring it up and everybody at my at the table will get a churn yeah <laughs> to, to make fun of you and then guess and, what no and dinner to drive your car back that's why i said if i'm getting those i'm ignoring them no i dare get you to an bring uber. it up get an I, uber i dare you to bring it up in front of my family 
Dude, men who love Call of Duty need to be studied. No, they need to be imprisoned. <laughs> Institutionalized. They need to be waterboarded. <laughs> <laughs> Not to death. Relax. In like a fun, silly way. No, like in a lighthearted, like... We're all laughing. Everybody's joking. My friends joke with me because they know I can handle it way. <laughs> no, I'm the strong one. They know. <laughs> they make jokes about me. I I laugh. laugh. And we all have fun. Right, and everyone's laughing. And it's like, that's just our relationship. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this next one's from Judith. She said, my ex was always really insecure about his height. He would always tell me that he was 5'10". One time we were out and he told someone that he was 6 feet tall. And then I asked him why he said that if he was 5'10". And he got so mad he didn't talk to me for three days. You're so real for that. Years later, I realized he was actually 5'8". Because he was the same height as my brother. And he's 5'8". You're so real for that. Why are you saying that? Why would you say that when you're obviously 5'10"? <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> I'd be doing that on purpose. <laughs> and maybe you low-key did it on purpose now. Like, subconsciously, maybe you did it on purpose. <laughs> Good for fucking you. And turns out he's lying about that, too. The fuck? <laughs> why would you say that? No, why would you tell why him that you're 5'10"? That? When, why would you say that you're six feet when you've told me so many times how embarrassed you are that you're 5'10"? It's okay. No, Why would you lie? He said, how tall are you? Yeah. Well, you said six feet and everybody knows that you're 5'10". It's so obvious <laughs> you're not six feet. <laughs> <laughs> Saying it in a concerned way is even funnier. No, honey. He asked you how tall you are. Yeah. Not how tall I am. He yeah. asked how tall you are. <laughs> he asked you how tall you actually are, not how tall you want to be. Yeah. He didn't say, well, I don't know. You just spent so many nights crying to me about being 5'10". I just thought that was confusing. Yeah. I, I misunderstood. I'm just, I was just clarifying. And I'm like, no, you're right. No, you're sorry, right. Sorry, guys. He's six feet tall. Sorry. He is six feet. I'm sorry. I forgot. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Sorry. This next one's from Diana. She said, uh, wrapped and dedicated the entirety of Bedrock, including the Nicki Minaj part in front of the class, unironically. For any particular reason or just? Well, it was, they, he was just feeling it. They wrapped and dedicated it, the whole song to I her. know, but like. Was it like a holiday or did he just pick a random Tuesday and Maybe stand this up? is controversial, but I don't, I have never liked that song. I like it for nostalgia, but it wasn't something that I was like, whoa, <laughs> when it came out. <laughs> wait, turn it on, turn it on, turn it on. Wait, hold You wouldn't on. wish we could hear right no now? No way. There's so many people in it. Like, I didn't give a fuck. It's like, too long. I don't like when songs are that it long. It was just like iconic for the time because they were all signed to Young Money Records and it yeah. was like, they're all up and coming. They were all up and coming artists at the time. But like. It's too much. Nostalgia. I think it's. But what a. <laughs> your ex saying like. I can make your bed rock with no with okay, no yeah. music. <laughs> okay, okay. I think I guess it's my turn. That part. <laughs> it's time to put this pussy on your sideburns. Did he say that part too? <laughs> <laughs> did he tell you? Did they tell you they were gonna put their pussy on your sideburns? Also, what is that? <laughs> I'm telling you right now. Don't ever serenade me. Don't you ever do that to me that's why i truly i could never date an artist wait like a this just artist. gave me a crippling flashback my, the backs of my knees just started sweating thinking about i that. just got a crippling flashback i just need i need to share this story with you guys okay when we were in high school wait you've told the story which story about the bruno mars song no girl oh it's worse it's worse no i know it. i know no, i don't know what story if he sang that to me just the way you if he are. did that to me in front of other people yeah. we would have fought <laughs> like I, you were like take off your shirt and fight me like a i'm man. just i'm running toward i'm charging <laughs> him like i'm gonna you're char right it was worse he sent it to you on myspace i'm gonna charge him and, <laughs> and act like i'm gonna run and jump into his arms but i swing as hard as fuck when i get up there <laughs> anyways no when we were in high school mm -hmm. there was these chorus like the, these people who were in a different like level of choir like the magicals they're called magicals and they were like the best singers like they like if you were really fucking good you could get into magicals and we could say it they were dorks <laughs> what? What? they wore matching sweat jackets and i thought they were a bunch of dorks <laughs> i don't care they were having fun. I didn't have issues with them. There's a lot of there was a lot of cool people in magicals. I thought they were dorks, all of them, even my friends are in it. 
I thought the, a bunch of dorks. I thought the pageantry of it was a little silly, but like I'm also a. Do hater. I want to come to your choir concert? No, I don't. Well, I'm never gonna do Love that. You, girl. I'm never gonna do that. Yeah. But I mean, like I, I was just. I think part of me was a hater because I can't sing for shit. Anyways, so the Magicals were like the group mm-hmm. of singers, and then every. Do you remember this? During Valentine's Day? Yeah, they would send singing grams. Yeah, but the entire week of Valentine's yeah, Day, yeah. right? I and know because they would, I, I always wish that my crush would send me one. I got one. Um, of course you did. Okay, but... <laughs> of course you did. But stay with me because oh. I wish I never got one. Wait, yeah, what song is it? Was it my funny Valentine? No. Do you know what song it was? It was Bedrock. This no, you'll you. never know. You'll Wait, never guess. guess. I want to guess. You'll guess. never guess. I want to guess. I want to guess. You won't know. It's a. It's not a song you would know because it's is not it from a, a Broadway play. Yeah. Oh, it's Defying Gravity. No, that what would. Play? That, you. I can't tell you. You won't. I just let me reveal it. Okay. It was literally the song on my own <laughs> from Les Miserables. Do you know what that song's about? Not on. If they did the Frank Sinatra song on, is that the what's the name of that no. song? No. Is that the name of that song that that little mouse sings? No. It's no. not called On My Own. No, that one's called uh, My Way. <laughs> It's like not Sorry, even Sorry, keep going. No, it's the song On My Own from Les Miserables. Is that the one that Anne Hathaway says? No. Nope. Dreamed- no, it's I Dreamed That's a Dream. That's I Dreamed a Dream. Yeah. No, dude. This fucking song is sang by fucking Fantine. Uh, not Fantine. Whatever the fuck the, the friend-zoned bitch is. Whatever oh. her name is. She sings it in the rain. She's singing about being alone. Oh. I got that fucking sent to me on Valentine's Day. Eponine? Yeah, Eponine. That's her name. You send me a song where she's like crying about how he likes a, a prettier bitch yeah. than her. Was she in love with Eddie Redmayne? I don't yeah. Oh, okay. And he was in love with Amanda Seyfried or whatever. Seyfried. Seyfried, whatever the fuck. And then she, he's just like, you're the best friend in the world to her all the time. And then she's dressing like a boy the whole movie. What's going on there? Lesbian. <laughs> no, she's in love with him. Like hope. And then she dies for him too. Mm. Like literally dies at the end of the play. Hey. Empty chairs at Th- I would have rather have gotten that one. Tables. I would have rather have gotten that song about all my dead homies. I would have rather have gotten <laughs> that song. And I had to sit there while six people sing a song to me about dying alone. Who bought that for you? I don't even remember. Oh, I just remember getting rough. it. And I remember being angry sitting and listening to it. Because oh. I was like, we got to do the whole thing, huh? No, and it was long. Whole thing, huh? You would think that it would just be like a couple lines. They sang like the whole chorus. Yeah, girl, just one bridge is good. We don't need the whole Look thing. Look up the lyrics to On My Own. I'm going to read some of these lyrics to you because, hey, that's fucking mean. I don't even remember who the fuck sent it to me either. I think my friends did it and they were, I think they did it, but I can't remember. On my own, pretending he's beside me all alone, I walk with him till morning. Oof. Yeah, happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> happy, happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. One of the options was L-O-V-E by Frank Sinatra. And then they're like, and then here's one for fucking Spencer's, in case you want one. Here you go. Oh, good. We haven't gotten to sing that song once. <laughs> I'm glad somebody bought it. And that's my key, so and I they never s- actually get to sing. I, ne- I literally remember they sent it to me, and I was in anatomy like my anatomy class Ugh, that's the worst class because that teacher was so sarcastic also i'm sitting on a bar stool like this <laughs> you, know what I'm saying? you know like there's no dignity in sitting on a bar stool why do they do that in science class my back hurts well also like i'm just sitting on like <laughs> listening to them sing to me about how i'm gonna die long yeah hey hey i have a better idea don't send me anything in fact that's what I got. Yeah. No, a whole lot of nothing. Send someone to punch me in the back of the head instead. That would have been a better experience. <laughs> also, just to circle back, fucking hate being serenaded. Yeah. Hate it. Hate it. Hate, it. hate it. it. Hate it. I just can't think of anything more humiliating for me as like the only the time victim. I'd ever want it and I'm gay is I would want Justin Bieber to make me his one less lonely girl. That's Even it. that. That's Even the only that. time I'd ever want it. That's it's the only too, time it's too much. And it has to be him. It's just so like, there's too much like, I just feel like it's like a... It's like a ping pong, you know what I mean? Like I gotta hit back. I gotta be like, I can't yeah. do it. I can't do you it. To give a show. That's how I feel when people sing "Happy Birthday" to me. Yeah, that's always terrible. Because I'm just sitting there going like this. You're just like this. <laughs> how humiliating! Sitting on another stool. No. <laughs> Fucking horrible. 
awful. Oh, it's filming you. It's awful. God, I hate that. Okay, this next one's from Courtney. She said, my ex wasn't a great reader, and, the, and in the middle of a game night with my friends, he pronounced the word ladle as laddle. He also got into an argument with me because he thought I was wrong and he was right about the fact that depression isn't a real thing. I'm actually a therapist. <laughs> Damn. You know what's funny? You is hung out with someone who made up a word. I sure fucking did. But also, there's nothing more humiliating for men than when they're like, they're stupid, but they're also like a confident stupid. Like, he literally pronounced the word ladle as laudle. And then he, at, at, in the same night, He's trying to fact check me. Yeah. Hey, 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 shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> what are we talking about? Hey, you about? lost all credibility when you said laudel or it earlier. Yeah. So let's not. I've also played board games with people who are like, I'm no longer connected to, but they were like not smart and they were rude mm -hmm. on top of that. And though, like, they're also a horrible fucking reader. Yeah. But they were someone who like, they would read it and read it incorrectly. And they were words that I feel like, generally speaking, we should all be able to say at this point. You know what I mean? Like, it was honestly kind of shocking to see in real life. Mm -hmm. And what was even more shocking was that person getting mad when people were like, oh, no, it's pronounced this. And they were like, o okay. <laughs> like, it's my fault. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to help you. Yeah. Like, literally the person I'm talking about, we were playing Cards Against Humanity. And they were like, I don't even know what the fuck this is. They said that out loud right and then <laughs> someone else at the table looked at it and they were like because they were like yeah what the fuck is unra and then the person at the table another person at the table was like the nra you don't know what the nra is and then they were like i don't fucking know pissed off angry and i have never forgotten that that has stayed in my brain forever because i could not believe that someone saw an acronym and was trying to pronounce it as a word. Like, for realsies. It happens to the best of us. Like, when I was on Caleb's podcast and I said uh, an IRA. Why did that make people so mad? You know, old people called them IRAs. Like, old people literally called them IRAs. Like, and it's IRA. I fucking know what an IRA is. Like, the way that so many people were like, babe, <laughs> an IRA? They were, like, explaining to me what the fuck that was. You're 37, aren't you? Is that <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. I know it. Yeah, anyways, that is a big ick to me. Men who can't read well. Yeah. Oh, God. We all have our strengths, but reading. I just, and you don't have to be a fucking philosopher. Just, like, be <laughs> able to pronounce things generally. Yeah, no, I And agree. I'm saying, like, and they're not the worst. Like, every time a dude is like that, they think they're the smartest person yeah, alive. Yeah, that's, that's what makes it the Yeah, worst, like, yeah. they literally think they're fucking Matt Damon in that fucking movie where oh, he's Good the Will janitor. Hunting. Yeah, they think they're that guy. Uh, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> they're not. They're Mark Wahlberg. In un <laughs> the racist version. <laughs> they're Mark Wahlberg in real life. They think that they're, like, an un... un like, Tapped genius. Untapped, like, unrecognized, like... Yeah. Overlooked yeah, type. Yeah, type like, of genius. Yeah. Like, they're like, oh, I just couldn't... St like, school just didn't work the for me. The power of my mind. School, school was just, like, they were just too many barriers. And I'm like, you never went to class, so how would you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, okay, this next one's from Allie. She said, I caught my high school boyfriend Snapchatting his ex behind my back, asking ugh. her for nudes and the whole bit. He had a second account he would use, too, so I wouldn't see her show up in his Snapchat best friends list. I even got her to confirm and show me screenshots of his Snapchats before confronting him. When I did, he told me he did it because he didn't know how to handle having such a loving girlfriend like me and a healthy relationship, so he tried to run back to the toxic one that he knew. I believed it, and I dated him for two more years. <laughs> two years? This is a high school boyfriend. I feel like in high school, we're all a little bit silly. We do a lot of things we're not supposed to be doing. That is the most gaslight response yeah. being ever. able to gaslight that uh effortlessly in high school is pretty nutty like liter run like that person is dangerous the fact that he's coming up with that shit at that Do age not trust that's like him. you walking in on someone having sex with another girl like your man and then he's like it's just like your pussy's too perfect and i just can't <laughs> handle it so i had to put it in another bitch just to know what it felt like like literally that's what it is that's like crazy. also asking for a nude on snapchat what the hell? What the hell? What the fuck? <laughs> hey, what the fuck? What the fuck? What if I was like, I bet Glenn Powell does that. Drew. Austin Butler for sure asks for nudes on Snapchat. 
You gonna show me how you squared or what? <laughs> that wasn't Snapchat. <laughs> In fact, hey, we don't talk about that enough. No. Hey, bring that back. <laughs> hey, chat, go ahead and bring that back. Chat, to me. bring back. Are you gonna show me how you squared or what? <laughs> <laughs> And you're walking outside. He's like in an airport leaving the baggage you're, claim. You're literally next to a bus stop. And you're <laughs> like saying that. <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, what's up, you guys? <laughs> hey, what's up, you guys? Yes. Yeah. Are you going to show me how you squirt <laughs> or what? <laughs> and see you guys later. Bye. <laughs> He's like, hey. Hey. Sorry. Hey, guys. Are you going to show me some news? He's going like this. <laughs> He's like. Hey guys, <laughs> but he's looking down. He's like studio. tits? Question mark. <laughs> oh, we're gonna see some with tits. that black with that black bar on the bucket picture. What? Like on the tits? on Snapchat? You know, Snapchat oh, shit, has that black yeah. bar. He has the doggy filter on. It's like he has the the flower crown emoji that like washes <laughs> everyone out. <laughs> he's like nudes. <laughs> Stupid. Any man <laughs> over the age of twenty five. That's really leaning into Snapchat. Run. Yeah. What the fuck? I don't have one anymore. I deleted my. I think when I was twenty in twenty seventeen, maybe twenty sixteen. I haven't had one in years. Yeah, I still have it, but I don't use it because it's stupid. I'm too old. That's why. <sighs> hey, I'm too old. Hey, come on. So. Okay, this next one's kind of a doozy. There's three in here. Oh God. This one's from Jasmine. She said, "There's so many, but I narrowed it down to and this three. Is, and this is for the, for the same person, yeah. I assume. And these are all about her ex husband." so the first one is my ex-husband had a really weird obsession with milk and he kept trying to convince me it was more hydrating than water he would literally go through two to three gallons of milk a week because of it then he would complain about stomach problems but refused to believe that it was because of all the milk two to three gallons <laughs> a week you must have been you're the he's the one keeping the dairy industry are you a baby calf <laughs> why are you suckling so much wait there's more oh god so the second one is I, this one's crazy to follow this up with that one i would have to convince him to brush his teeth in the morning he truly believed that you didn't have to and that morning breath wasn't a thing can you imagine dating a man or marrying a man who drinks two to three gallons of milk a week and he only brushes his teeth at night Ninja creamy ass mouth. <laughs> you have a ninja creamy ass mouth is crazy, bro. Okay. Lastly, and probably the worst, he did probably he, he didn't like using tissues when it came to wiping his nose. So he constantly had boogers and snot on his pants because of him wiping his nose with his hand and then putting it on his jeans. I stayed through all that and he cheated. <laughs> but I've worked on myself and I know my worth now and I'm gay. Woo! Period. I was going to say nothing like a big sicko like that makes you realize you're gay. Oh, faster. yeah. I hate all of you. Uh, first of all, happy for you. I'm so glad you're not with that person anymore. Second of all, that right there is exactly why I tell you if they step a fucking toe out of line. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my face <laughs> because the grossest, most disgusting, ugliest dudes alive will still cheat. Yeah. So, hey, yeah, no, go fuck yourself. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to be with a fuggo who's also a terrible person. Like, we're not doing that. Absolutely fucking not. That's why I said as soon as you see something you don't fucking like, you either, you call it out and fix it or you leave. Like, immediately. Don't waste time. Don't mm -hmm. waste any more time. I'm glad you realized that and you're not wasting any more time. The fucking morning breath thing, like morning breath is easily when your breath smells the worst too. yeah like it is not at night when you brush your teeth at especially night i was like especially because most men are um mouth breathers so i know when you get up it stinks it reeks i know that mouth and then, reeks yeah, i know it's kicking crap that's I said. <laughs> ninja creamy ass mouth <laughs> like his i just know it dude you know like when you crack open a Hershey's bar, like that's probably that what asshole. You have mini M and M's. You open that little, oh, that little tube. Yeah. It just smells like ass. I yeah. know your mouth smells, smells like, like a ass. <laughs> He's like, smells like ass. <laughs> that's our new thing. That's your new thing. <laughs> we okay. You just said it twice. You and I have both been saying it. 
<laughs> you didn't say it, but you were engaging. That it. and then the um the the girl eating the skinny cows. The skinny oh, cows. she was like, oh the- lord, I gotta go again. <laughs> She's like, as vanilla has gone wild in my stomach, <laughs> dude. I put the fucking. <laughs> I literally saved that TikTok, but I put it in my story because it literally, I was laughing so hard that tears were going down my fucking face, bro. I was laughing so hard at that. Vanilla has gone wild in my stomach. (laughs) Holy fuck, dude. I cannot imagine someone just absolutely necking that much milk and then not brushing their teeth like what the fuck like you are torturing me you're I, torturing me i haven't had real milk like those gal i haven't had that. i'd rather you cheat on me <laughs> do that Do shit. All, he did all of that and, and he, he said cheated. i know what i'm saying and he said poor kato los dos you know. like well, i could do both all claro que si poor kato los dos <laughs> i could do both easily i could do both i could easily do both drinking that much milk not brushing your teeth and then wiping Bo- your- booger pants <laughs> you got boogie pants <laughs> moco pants you got boogie you pants? got mocos on your pants and then you're like hey um i like think a little we kid. need more milk you know it's like a little kid <laughs> yeah for real he's like, like anyways we we ran out of milk by the way <laughs> ew how much milk do you have to drink to drink two to three gallons a week? That's what I said. He's suckling all day on that fucking tea. <laughs> Sucking back. <laughs> He's like, how old is he? Uh, 300 months. <laughs> like, why? 360 you, months. Why are you drinking that much fucking milk? <laughs> you're disgusting. As a grown man. You're disgusting. <laughs> and why don't you put it? You should have put it in one of those big ass bottles and fed it to him like a fucking baby cow. <laughs> Did you want to drink milk so fucking bad? Do you want to be a big fucking baby? Do you want to be a little fucking calf? Here. <laughs> That's insane. Uh, those comically large ones. Yeah. Like, like, the, like a costume. And he'd probably eat it. Yeah. I guarantee it. You would. Fucking gross. Little milk ass. God, I'm so... <laughs> ninja creamy ass. <laughs> milk ass. And you know his poop is fire. There's no way you drink that much milk and you don't have actual magma coming out of your butthole. Yeah. There's no way. And like then squid you know, when he was having stomach problems. Yeah. And his his poop was like shooting out of him like a flare gun. Like yeah. it was like <laughs> against the fucking <laughs> launching him forward. <laughs> That's how he like was up the toilet seat. <laughs> I told you it's like those jetpacks in the sea. <laughs> it's levitating above yeah, the he's sea. Like, Dude. It's just shit coming out. And he cheated on me. <laughs> girl girl you know too he doesn't wash his ass good there's no way well obviously there's not. a lot of those in here i would if i were to pick one we got majority of besides cheating and being a loser um it's that they don't wash their ass what or is brush that their teeth. or like, brush there's teeth, so yeah. much teeth what is going on we have strayed so far from the light what's happening dude and it's 99 percent men yeah like the submissions are about male partners you know at the end of our episode last week we said like i'm like what man do you think like uh, doesn't brush his teeth or his ass stinks yeah the famous man someone said chris pratt what a great addition yeah and i bet you his sweat smells like sponge yeah. you know what i'm saying like, old old moldy sponge from yeah, under the sea yeah yeah you know white guys build like him they tend to smell like that when they yeah. stink and then they're like oh i'm just gonna change my shirt <laughs> once you change <laughs> <laughs> change your change. fucking underwear <laughs> after you change some bars of soap why don't we get in the shower and change your body's ph because yeah. it stinks why don't we change that stench <laughs> let's go ahead and change that up how about that i'm just gonna change my shirt uh. oh no <laughs> change out those wash gloves how about do that and get in the fucking shower what do they have against being clean dude the <laughs> What do they have against I don't it? Know. Maybe they, maybe they, maybe they think they can clean themselves like a cat. Like there's, a- <laughs> oh no, he keeps himself pretty clean. <laughs> that baby, put him in the bath. <laughs> put him in the bath. I'm talking about your 30 year old boyfriend. Yeah, your your ex husband who I has vocals on his jeans. Sometimes I think too, like, and this is also a testament to like what I always talk about, which is like women are just constantly making excuses because they're being good they're trying to be good people yeah and you're trying to be nice you have the benefit be, of the doubt like we're well, trying to be kind and you're yeah. trying not to hurt people's feelings which i don't think is ever a bad thing but i do think at some point we got to get real with each other so if you start 
stinking ass. Stinking ass. <laughs> stinking <laughs> ass. Stinking ass. <laughs> Do y'all remember that trend when they put the little kids in the bathroom and they're like, you can say whatever you want. Yeah. Dason literally, she kept, well, first, she kept saying this. See, this it, happens all the time. And this was one of those things where I go, is that from something or are you just saying it? <laughs> what was the one I kept saying? It was for Christmas. <laughs> it was that one. It might be the perfect gift for Christmas. Just saying. She said that like five times when we were Christmas shopping. And I, the fifth time I was like, is that like from something or are you like trying you to- You laughed every time I said it. So that's why I thought you knew what it was fucking from. I thought you were just being silly. But then I, I got to a point where I was like, I feel like you got that. <laughs> when Brett was like, do you have like a fucking problem or something? What's going on? No, I get it. You're funny. But like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that Dason kept going stinking ass. She kept saying that, and then I asked her, is that from something? And she's like, oh, it's from that TikTok I sent you. This is, it was her favorite version of that trend, and it was just a little girl. No, it was, oh, this can ask Yeah, you. and it was just, that's the only thing she said. Like, she's, like, putting her, her head, like, this close to the mirror, and she's going, stinking ass. Stinking ass. <laughs> and her mom's like, are you done? She goes, almost. Stinking ass. <laughs> <laughs> so if your man's, like, stinking ass, right? If that's happening, you have every right to be like, hey, you stink. Get in the shower. <laughs> hey, I'm bored. Let's go take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so bored. Let's go brush our teeth And together. then after that, let's go brush our teeth because I'm so bored. Do you have a piece of gum for you? <laughs> <laughs> you guys, did you guys grow up watching Kev Jumba, like Ryan Higa, J.R. Aquino? Yeah. Honestly, I think only brown girlies did and that's okay. Yeah. But um, what there was like Kev, Kev Jumba did a, a, a compilation video yeah. and it was like the worst boyfriend. Yeah. And then one of he was saying all these awful things just in passing. Yeah. But one of them was like, "Do you have a piece of gum for yourself?" <laughs> we still quote it fucking like fifteen years. Do later. you have a piece of gum for yourself? Like the way he says it is so <laughs> fucking funny. We still say that to we this still day. Say it. Okay. I, Anyways, we, yeah. We have one more. We're gonna end this on. Okay. Do you want to do a part three to this? Yeah. Okay. We're going to do one more. This one's from Stephanie. And she said, after we were intimate, he asked me to slow dance to the song I'll Be in his bedroom. And he sang it to me. And he didn't even have a good voice. Were you naked? Probably. He's like, no. I'll be your That's the song? Uh, that's the only I'll from Be song Cinderella, From Cinderella Story? Yeah. He starts calling you a uh, Princeton girl. 818 isn't she's nomad or whatever the fuck he's, he's nomad <laughs> oh there's a string quartet in the room all of a sudden I'll be then your nerdy I'll friend comes out and cock box you <laughs> it says we gotta go home it's almost midnight crashes the car makes it my problem <laughs> and then your, your stepmom's really mean to you I'm wearing a I'm wearing a wedding gown under my t-shirt and blue Yankees hat yeah because I'm blending in. With my high top pink converse. She oh. was such a slave for that though. That movie I ate that. I know. Movie it's still good. Up. Even when you watch it now. Even though she's a huge pick me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure she is. Like how many cool girls that in your high school did you know who would go out and just start hitting some baseballs? Baseballs around. Baseballs. Baseball Americano. <laughs> baseball is American. <laughs> how many girls did you know that hit baseballs Only during the their cool lunch ones. breaks? only the cool and ones. they have a, a white friend who really wants to be an actor but he gives off insane gay vibes but he's straight but his very first character is something really offensive and he's wearing a do-rag yeah hmm. Hmm. didn't happen to me a lot i'll say that when your crush's dad owns a car wash <laughs> it's like not relatable at all is <laughs> know that she's like they're like diner girl remember that yeah, yeah we saw that before hey diner you know, girl the whole thing they're making fun of her for is because she has a job <laughs> Because she's getting work experience and making money. Yeah. Diner girl. Yeah. Uh, anyways. You say, you still say, you know, the, the, his friend. Well, yeah, that that friend. Yeah. He's a big predator in yeah. that movie. Yeah. <laughs> like, when I rewatch it, I'm like, predator. Mm -hmm. Also looks 30. Yeah. What's going on? They all look 30, to be mm -hmm. fair. Except Hillary Duff. Like, she's the only one who looks like she's in high school because she was 16. Yeah. And, and they were Chad all 23. Michael, yeah. Chad, Chad Michael Murray was in his 20s. Made out with her at the end. Hey. I love when she, like, gets her confidence, though. And she walks through the boys' locker room. Yeah. Because waiting for you is like waiting for rain in this drought. Useless and disappointing. She walks away. Ate him up. And she has one one finger, one thumb in the pocket. 
You know those little baby, you, those I, little low rise baby fat jeans, and the yeah. pocket was two centimeters long. That's why she can so only she, put one thumb in there. One thumb in there, and then she's like, mm. and she walks away, yeah. s- sashaying her hips. Yeah, because her because her little like tasteful amount of midriff is yeah, out. Yeah, her little yeah. midriffs out. Yeah, got a little camisole. If on. you didn't walk around, especially after I watched Mean Girls, if you didn't walk around your elementary school playground with just your thumbs and in, in the backs of your jeans like Lindsay Lohan did, telling you, Mean Girls, I'm telling you, were you really that bitch? You weren't. No clearly but i'm doing it in like tan like khaki pants because i had to wear a uniform in school <laughs> and I'd, i have a polo on and the way the shape of the pants makes me look like i have a fupa i'm in the fourth grade <laughs> <laughs> and maybe i did have one and then what and what and then what happens uh yeah there was one more point i was gonna make go ahead you're fine oh i was gonna say her little monologue at the end of that movie yeah uh when i did when we had to do the monologues when i was in drama my mm-hmm. freshman year um the solo monologue yeah literally i'm not kidding seven girls in my class submitted that monologue and then my teacher was like you can't all do the same one and then she just let the girl the very first girl who submitted it she let her do it and her do it by herself but i remember um she was a german exchange student so like she had a really heavy german accent Mm -hmm. and um i remember she did the monologue too and like sometimes when i hear it now i i picture it with a german accent (laughs) because that's how i remember her was it it. good though did she kill it no but it's okay i killed it if anyone was curious i did too okay fine i'll talk about mine yeah um, i got 98 out of 100 points actually so did i she told me the only thing i needed to work on was blocking like i needed to move more me too but in my but in my monologue she's sitting the whole time so that's why i i did like i walked around i paced like once or twice and i sat down that actually reminds me you know the movie fences with uh, viola davis yeah so when i was in college and i took drama our last assignment that was movie's a really sad but i did it's really like super it. super yeah. sad but my my last you know it's based off a of play yeah that's why they don't leave the house yeah my last monologue um or my last assignment for the semester at the end of the year was mm-hmm. a monologue and it had to be a sad or dramatic one and i picked that monologue the one that she does yeah uh, she's like oh, i've been standing with you that mm-hmm. one and i did that monologue and my teacher told me like wrote on my notes he gave me like a 98 same thing mm-hmm. fucking blocking like yeah. he told me i needed to move more um but she doesn't move mm-hmm. like but i guess it's just like a physical thing whatever mm-hmm. so um that's me being a virgo and grade grubbing anyways um <laughs> if you grade grub one more time i will send you back to the third grade <laughs> back, back to, to your, your seat, seat now <laughs> <laughs> i asked can i do a monologue from school of rock it's <laughs> like motorhead <laughs> um, oh god <laughs> uh i i did that monologue mm-hmm. and my teacher i made my teacher cry and my teacher wrote i really feel like you should pursue acting on my on my notes and so if you're casting for moana and you're watching this so anyways the all proof that being is really said, in the pudding. all that being said um clearly i'm a generational talent uh and two of my drama te- <laughs> the only two drama classes i took <laughs> anyways um wait that just brought back a flashback memory so i took mm-hmm. an acting class when i was in college i took mm-hmm. one me too and um i wanted to do an acting minor my mom was like nah dude you gotta get out of there in four years so i was like you're right yeah i mean Quit that's why around. i didn't take any more drama because i had two majors so yeah. i just didn't have room in well, my schedule you know i didn't do two majors <laughs> i'm telling you why i didn't i know yeah no one asked but anyways i remember we did this exercise where we all had to take turns walking into the room and sitting down doing the exact same thing and we all had to take notes on how we walk and sit and and whatever and when we, and then she gave us each so we had to take notes on there's like 12 kids we all had to take notes on each person that walked in then she wrote all of our names on pieces of paper and threw it in a bowl and then we each had to pick one and then we had to go home and practice how we watched that person walk in then we had to walk in one by one everyone had to guess who you were this is like one of our assignments and i'll never forget when i watched like, the kid do mine i was humiliated <laughs> what did he do <laughs> he walked i don't walk with my feet out he was acting like i walk like that he also was taller than me he walked like cartoon ass walk yeah with, was- with, yeah literally with his feet ahead of him and he sat down and i was thinking because i was counting how many kids had already gone and we were guessing i'm like it's between me and this other kid and there's no way that that's him that has to be me <laughs> he gave you a fucking pigeon toe yeah and it was humiliating it was humiliating i was humiliated i was like oh <laughs> oh and what was that was, was that the only identifier that you noticed no everyone kept guessing and then finally someone's like oh is it supposed to be Dason?" he was like yes and then i was like, but what what else did, did he do anything else or was that the only did you I kind just, of black out after you, saw you had that? to go out of the room and walk in no i know so you had to, you had to walk, pay attention to how they opened the door i just remember how he walked from the door to the chair which was probably like five six feet and i was humiliated because <laughs> when he's walking i go i know that's not me 
What if he sat there and he's like, <laughs> like he just, <laughs> when he's walking, <laughs> yeah, he's just making shit up. He comes in, he has a, he has like a fat suit on, and you're like, that's what I felt. That's what I felt. The way he was sitting, I was all, I don't sit like that. If someone was copying me, he comes in and he has like a dip brow on, and I'm like, <laughs> oh, I didn't know we were doing costumes. Dip brow and a gold highlighter. Oh, 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 no lip liner, no lip gloss. Oh, oh, okay. a berry, a berry, lip. <laughs> a berry lip. Yeah, no liner. <laughs> So my mouth looks this big. <laughs> I have like geisha lips, bro. Oh my gosh, you guys. Wait, this is the last thing we'll talk about. Drew did her stand-up set at Caleb's show. I sure did. She did so good. We met one of you there and it was such a fun show overall. Brittany Yeesh. came. Brittany and Taylor. It was Yeesh. such a fun night. Our whole family went. But the funniest part, well, besides Caleb and Drew, and Annie <laughs> DeRusso was also amazing. Yeah, totally. Chris Fleming was a secret opener. Oh yeah. I, you guys. Chris Fleming is. I was laughing so hard I started unbelievable. sweating. Caleb, obviously, we we talk we gas Caleb so He's often so funny. because he is just an unbelievable talent. Yeah. And Chris Fleming is up there with that. Yeah. Like, Chris Fleming is so funny. Mm-hmm. Like, holy fuck, dude! We were laughing so. I've loud. never seen him do stand up. I was dying. I've only yeah, seen clips on like TikTok. Yeah, but same. I had never seen it in its entirety. He's like, very much physical comedy, but it was so fucking funny. God, I just love, I love a silly joke. Yeah. Like, something so fucking silly. I love shit yeah. like that. Like, it's silly, but you understand. And, mm-hmm. like, that's why it makes it so funny. Oh. Uh, I was dying. So funny. Highly recommend. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. Did and my- Drew killed it. Drew did a great job. Caleb did a great job. Thank you. Annie DeRusso did a great job. Yeah, ever- it was a blast. And I was honored. And I'm so glad that Caleb invited me. And that I got to do it at the Largo. How fucking iconic. Yeah. Very cool. It was really fun. Very, very cool. Very fun. Loved. Had a blast. It was very 10 cool. out of 10. For yeah. sure. But, anyways, that's going to do it for this week's episode. If you enjoyed it, you can stream other episodes. Everywhere you can listen to podcasts. And the video version is on our YouTube channel. Woo-hoo. Other than that, we love you and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.